Students, you have worked hard, honed your skills, earned your way to the top of the class. And today I, Becky Lynch, your professor of fitness would like to welcome you as you graduate to the top of the School of Strength. Yes. So now, master trainers. Let's get ready to exercise! Uh, today's lesson is something super important, and it's something we might all struggle with, but we all want to get better at. And that is, oh, balance. To help us get better at balance, please welcome back two special Olympic champions, Vince Egan and Beth Donahue. What we're gonna do is walk the line. So Vince, why don't you start us off? Come on, step right there on the line. If you guys don't have tape at home, that's fine. Use a string or just walk between two objects. Vince is gonna stick his arms out to help him with balance. And one foot by one foot, he's gonna put him in front of each other, going heel toe, heel toe. Balance affects everything that you do. Let's do that for 30 seconds. Beth is gonna start as well by putting her hands on her hips because she's gonna try it a little more challenging. So if you guys wanna take it up a notch, go ahead, hands on your hips. And people forget all the time how important and tricky balance is. Wow, that is so hard. Who knew the balance can be so tricky? And balance is amazing for preventing injuries and it's gonna get you better at every single sport. Here we go, 28, 29, and 30. Good job for you at home. Okay, so for our next exercise, it's time to chop. Chop, chop, chop. Chop! <laughs> Not those kind of chops, but that was funny. Half kneeling chops. So what you want to do is grab a ball, any size, basketball, soccer ball, or even a weighted ball to make this even more challenging. Or like me, grab a water bottle. We're gonna go down on one knee. So let's all go down on our right knee and you can grab a mat or do it on a rug at home. And with your other leg that's up, you wanna have a straight foot so your knee is above your ankle. You're gonna take that ball or water bottle, stick it straight out in front of you, and we're gonna to turn to the side of which our knee is standing up. So we're gonna do 15 on each side. Let's all go to the left. Here we go, and one, two, Keep your muscles tight. Keep your torso twisted. Right on. It's important to keep your abs tight. Don't let your arms swing too much. Control it. 14 and 15. Great job. Now let's change to the other side. So we're going to put our left foot back, put our right foot on the ground with our knees standing up, and remember to line up our knees and our ankles. Let's put the ball or water bottle straight forward. Now we're going to go to the right for another 15. Here we go. And one, two. Don't forget to breathe. Three. Looking good. Eight, nine, ten. Five more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Give yourselves a round of applause. Beth, Vince, you guys at home. Now we were rookie balancers and now we're pretty pros at that. Looking good, huh? And the crowd goes wild. Swish. For our next exercise, one leg stands. We're gonna have to find a wall or something sturdy to hold ourselves against. So that could be a chair, or for us here in the ring, it's gonna be the ropes. So what we're gonna do is keep our left foot on the ground, pick our right foot off the ground, kick it back almost like a flamingo, and hold it for 30 seconds. Now that wall is there to support you. Feel free to use it if necessary. Let's start the countdown. How are those legs holding up? This balancing is just getting started. Now balancing on one foot is harder than it looks, so watch out. <laughs> Beth, this is hard, huh? Yeah. All right, 28, 
29 and 30. Switch legs, amazing. Right foot on the ground. Bend your left knee, left foot up, hands out or against the wall. And if you're having trouble balancing, just pick a spot somewhere in your room and stare at it. If you fall, don't worry, just start again. Oh, I'm feeling it. Woo! Ooh, this is hot. Don't quit. Almost there. You got it. Twenty-nine and thirty. Good job, both feet on the ground. Give yourselves a round of applause. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Okay, you've made it all the way. It's time for the final exercise in this video, balance and balance. We're gonna show off our balance chops with some hops. We're gonna use these chairs. Feel free to use a wall, or if you wanna get crazy, don't use anything to support you, or you can just put your hands on your hips. That's pretty good too. But what we're gonna do is keep our right foot on the ground, bend our left leg so it's sticking up in the air, and now we're just gonna hop for 10. Ready, and jump, balance, jump, balance. And we're gonna do it for 10, keep going. Do these hops slowly, jump up and down, regain your balance, and do it slowly. One more, and 10. Great job, switch legs. Bend your right leg, keep your left foot on the ground, your chair or wall is there for support. For 10 more, and one, two, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and hop. Great job, great job. That was amazing, guys. Give yourselves a round of applause. You should be proud. But we're not done there, because we are no longer rookies. We are champions. So let's kick it up a notch. Right foot on the ground, left leg up, hand on the wall or the chair, and this time, we're gonna hop forward and back. Ready for 10 more. Forward, two, three, four, Five. This is fun. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Final time, everybody. Left foot on the ground. Bend your right leg. Here we go. And forward. Back. Forward. Back. Great job. Oh. Forward and back. Forward and back. And awesome job. Give yourselves a round of applause. Great job, Beth. Great job, Vince. Great job, you guys at home. We walked the line. We did half kneeling chops. We did one leg stands, and we bounced and balanced. Be proud of yourselves. Congratulations again, guys, on making the final level of School of Strength. Thanks for training along with us. Now remember to keep doing these exercises at least five days a week to help you get fit and be the best athlete you can be. See you next time. Bye. Woohoo!